Welcome to Remote Corrected Maintenance in the Industrial Environment, Module Number 3, Part A. This lesson has been prepared by Mircolo Bizetto, trainer at NI Proveneto. Today, we are going to see the training unit number 3, Remote Connections and Network Security. For the Part A, we will see the secure remote connection to Scalvin's S615, Router for PLC management. Secure remote connection to Scalens S615 router for PLC management. At the end of this lesson, you will learn the methods to set a secure remote connection to the Scalens S615 router. Learn how to configure an IPsec VPN. Learn the advantages of the remote connection to the Scalens S615 router via VPN. The Scalens router in this case is an integral part of a PLC laboratory environment designed to simulate an industrial application. The PLCs are directly connected to the Scalens which acts as a central hub for the control and supervision of machines and processes. The laboratory's local network is managed by a firewall that acts as a gateway to control access to the Scalens network, which in turn is the gateway of the PLC devices. The Scalens has an assigned LAN IP address, example 192.168.108.1, this configuration reflects the typical environment of an industrial infrastructure, where the security and reliability of communications are of paramount importance to ensure the proper functioning of production processes. Very important, in a real-world context, it is mandatory to interface with the company's IT manager in order to agree on the appropriate methods of connection to the external network. Assessing their cost and benefit. Secure connection methodologies. Configuring IPsec VPN. 1. To set a secure remote connection to the Scalens router, an IPsec VPN must be implemented using Forti client as VPN client. The VPN on the Institute's firewall will be configured to allow technical operators to handle emergencies and intervene promptly on PLCs and industrial processes. The secure connection from outside will be crucial for full system access and signal monitoring. Configuring IPsec VPN2. Two features on the VPN configuration will include authentication using digital certificate. This authentication method will guarantee the identity of authorized users, preventing unauthorized access up to the system. Advanced encryption. Advanced encryption will ensure the protection of data transmitted during the VPN connection, guaranteeing the confidentiality and integrity of information exchanged between the remote user and industrial system. Restrictive access policies. Access policies will be defined to ensure that only authorized users belonging to a specific group can access the industrial system via the VPN connection. The VPN allows IT technicians to intervene remotely in emergencies, facilitating troubleshooting. They can monitor signals, assess the situation, and, if necessary, coordinate on site interventions for timely resolution. Firewall policy management. Firewall policies will be configured to allow access only to the PLC laboratory network once the VPN connection has been established. Access to other networks will be prohibited, thus ensuring precise control over remote access. Access to PLC devices and web server. Once the VPN connection is established and identity verification is passed, users will have access to the laboratory network, including PLC devices connected to the Scalas router. 
However, considering that the Scalans acts as a router and manages the reallocation of IP addresses to PLCs, it is necessary to configure the Scalans router to correctly redirect traffic from the IPsec VPN to the relevant PLCs, routing table configuration, and port forwarding. Port forwarding. This process requires the implementation of traffic transmission rules, known as port forwarding or port mapping, which redirect packets from the IPsec VPN to the IP addresses of PLCs within the industrial network. In some cases, it may be necessary to enable NAT, Network Address Translation, on the Scalans to ensure that traffic from the IPsec VPN is routed transparently to PLCs with their internal IP addresses. In parallel, the firewall policy will have to be appropriately configured to allow IPsec VPN traffic directed to PLC IP addresses. This is achieved by defining specific rules that allow VPN traffic to transit to the IP addresses of the PLCs, thus ensuring proper remote communication with industrial devices. Conclusions Using a secure remote connection to the Scalans, S615 router via VPN offers numerous advantages over direct exposure to the Internet via public IP. Some of these advantages include greater security, access control, compliance with privacy legislation.